Oh, there's my first bite. Oh my god, here comes the hook set. Oh my god! Oh god! Oh! What's up, everybody? Members of the Lojo Fishing fam. As you guys may have seen in a previous video, my kayak is actually screwed right now. It's taking on water. It's no good. Well, I'd love to keep fishing, but I'm pretty sure my kayak is taking on water again. So we're gonna rectify that situation today. We're gonna have to get a new kayak. I mean, that's the only way that I can get back out on the water. So we're gonna head to Walmart because I don't feel like breaking the bank and like buying a brand new, you know, expensive kayak. I don't have money for that. So we're gonna take this trip to Walmart and we're not just gonna buy any kayak. We're going to buy the cheapest, cheapest kayak that we can find at Walmart. And we're gonna put that bad boy to the test. Guys, one thing I had not considered previously was the fact that uh, the cheapest kayak in Walmart is probably gonna be pretty small. <laughs> and I'm a pretty big guy, if you guys didn't already know that. So this is gonna be uh, a little interesting. Okay, I'm seeing some kayaks here. If you could even call that a kayak, but I am seeing a couple, so that, that's a good sign. I'm not seeing a whole lot of options here. That right there is a Cadillac. That's a 278. That's definitely not gonna make the cut. Way too expensive. Nice looking kayak though. Got this tiny one right here for $78, but I don't know if that thing's gonna hold me. This one's 164. That might hold me. See, this little one can only hold like 140 pounds, man. I'm, I would sink that thing. Jeez, are those the only kayaks? Those are the only ones that I'm seeing. Let me hit up the old, the outdoor garden center. Maybe, maybe there's some more out here. Are there any kayaks out there, ma'am? Mm -hmm. Oh, there are, okay, awesome. Okay. Aha, thank you. <laughs> here we go, found the mother load. I'm liking that orange one right there, guys. It's a little eight footer. 260 pound capacity. <laughs> oh my God, this is gonna be terrible. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you find out how much that orange kayak is for me? Yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy it. I just need to know how much it is. All right, how much did we say it was? It is. 148. Perfect. We have officially purchased the Orange Baron, whatever you wanna call it. And I think this is the cheapest kayak that's actually gonna hold me, which is the key. <laughs> Oh yeah, that thing's looking real sexy in there. No, no straps or anything needed. Just lay it right in the back of the bed. We got the brand new yak loaded up. This might become like a like a yak that I use often in some small ponds. Since I bought the smallest, cheapest, well almost the smallest, almost the cheapest kayak in Walmart, I'm gonna take it to the smallest pond that I know. And let's see if this thing will hold me and if it will actually hold somebody fighting a fish. Look at this thing. <laughs> okay, so it's a Sun Dolphin. It's an eight foot kayak. It's a sit in kayak, which I've never used a sit in kayak. Oh, it's got a paddle. Oh God, I completely like forgot that you needed a paddle with a kayak. So good job, Sun Dolphin. All right, so our paddle goes together like that. The good thing is this thing is about as light as could possibly be compared to dragging around a Hobie. No rod holder or anything, but that's okay. We'll be right there for now, I guess. I don't know. A couple packs of lures in there. Okay, this is gonna be terrible. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys, if you like watching people fail at life, just uh, continue to watch because I, I just, I have a terrible, terrible feeling about this. Spider webs, get off me. Get off me spiders. Step one is going to be getting in this thing without falling into the water. And that's going to be perhaps the most interesting step. Oh God, this is probably the stupidest way to do this. Ha ha ha. Oh God. Oh, this thing is small. <laughs> My kayak is covered in ants. That's all right. Ah. Oh my God. You are like so low to the water in this thing. Oh God, we're in the water. Oh boy, we're in the water. Oh my God. This is by far the most unstable thing 
on the planet. Okay, so we're in the water. Oh my God. Every time I take a, a paddle, every time I lean to the side to paddle, I mean, I almost tip over. Okay, let me get my rod out. I mean, it's very unstable, but it's not like, it's okay, you know, it, it's not great, but it's okay. So step one is complete. Step two is gonna be much harder because step two involves actually like trying to hook into a fish. I just, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna catch a fish in this thing without capsizing. I really don't wanna fall into this water. Well, the rig that I'm gonna be throwing is a super, super simple, real light Texas rig. Just start off with a little like swim bait, a little paddle tail swim bait. There is an alligator in this pond too, just so you guys know. So once again, this is really not the smartest idea ever, but you know, what ifs. Let's see if I can cast. Oh, okay. Well, we cast it pretty well, but it's not the casting I'm worried about. It's a little scary knowing that there is an alligator in here, but you know, my experience with alligators is that they, they try to stay away from humans as much as possible. You know, this thing is really not that bad. I mean, you know, it's it, it can tip over at any second, but it's really not that bad. All you guys are always asking me about like, you know, an affordable, like beginner's kayak. Well, I've only been in the Sun Dolphin for like two minutes, but I would say this thing has my full endorsement for, for a beginner, you know, or like a, a smaller human being. I just spooked a bunch of stuff with that cast. Whoa, did you guys see that? Guy just spooked a bunch of more stuff. I'm just like spooking stuff everywhere. God, look at all these like bait fish and stuff that are just spooked. Guys, I think we're gonna have to switch to a worm, which I really didn't want to do. Lord be with me. Oh, oh, there's my first bite. Oh my God, here comes the hook set. Oh my god, oh god, oh, oh god, he's turning me around, oh god, <laughs> I think I got him hooked pretty good though, oh come on, stay on there buddy, god, I'm losing my paddle, now I gotta get this sucker out of the water, oh how am I gonna do this without falling in, come on buddy, don't jump, no more jumping, no more jumping, no, no more jumping, oh god, he's under my kayak, ah, no, I almost had him, oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh God. Woo, we survived. I've lost my paddle. Okay, I got it. Dude, that's a nice little bass right there. Nice little chunky pond bass. My first one in my new kayak. Yes, that is awesome. All right, man. Thank you for that. That was a, a load of fun. There he goes. He took right off. <laughs> Oh guys, that was freaking crazy. Didn't even feel the bite, just all of a sudden my line started running to the left and I was like, oh my God, here we go. Hook set did okay. I really didn't even set the hook. I just kind of like, well, yeah, you guys saw. But man, that, that little bass pulled me all over the place. Imagine if that, that bass had some size. Imagine if that was like a three, four pounder. That thing may have still be pulling me across the pond, maybe. Better be careful, this dang waterfall is about to suck me up in it. And this tiny little kayak, I'd probably go right down it, down some river rapids. Okay, so the old, we gotta find a name for this thing, guys. So you need to get in that comment section right now, give me your best names. I kind of thought of a couple myself, but I'm not gonna ruin it and like say anything. I want you guys to hit me with some names, but first fish in whatever we're gonna name this thing, hopefully the first of many fish, and we didn't capsize, amazingly. Pretty excited that we didn't capsize in the first hook set and the first fish fight. And you know, a smart person would probably count their money, walk away, but uh, you know how it is. You start catching fish and now you just want to catch more fish. So I may be pushing my luck <laughs> to keep on fishing, but um, ask me if I care. Think I care if I capsize? Nope. Oh, there's another one. He's running with it. Oh my God. That feels like a better one. Is that even a bass? Yeah, it's a bass. It's a little bit better too. Oh, I actually got a, like a nice straight back hook set on that one because that one was in perfect position to do that. Oh God, he's pulling me all over the place. 
Oh boy, we're going for a ride, guys. Oh yeah, it's a little bit better one. We're going for a ride. <laughs> Come on, little buddy, don't be like this. Daddy is in a new kayak and it's very small. Oh, come on, come on, come on. That is a better one. All right, look at that one. A little bit, I mean, not a lot better, but a little bit. Uh, he's gut hooked a little bit, but I think I can get him out. All right, got it out nice and clean. Let's see if he swims away. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's good. That one was perfect because I casted straight out in front of me. See, you know, the, fir the first fish that I caught, he was like over here by the time I set the hook. So I had to like swing against my body. But that one was in perfect spot. And that one was in perfect position. I had casted directly in front of me and I felt the bite. I saw the line moving right in front of me so I could just come straight back. In a small kayak, that's your best bet. Man, that was fun. That little guy. Oh God, there goes my paddle. That guy right there was a little bit bigger than the first one. He was taking me for a ride. Oh God. Oh my God. This is so much fun, guys. You know, I made this video, guys, because I mean, first of all, I needed a new kayak. You know, I mean, uh, that that part is not not a gimmick. I mean, I needed a new kayak. My my kayak, my one kayak is down. My other kayak's down. So I needed I needed a way to get out on the water. You know, bank fishing is cool, but it gets old after a while. I really hope that I can use this thing again. You know, I can start making this like, you know, a part of my videos if you guys want. So I tell you what, hit that hit that thumbs up button right now. If we can get 2,000 likes, guys. Now that's that sounds like a lot, but that's nothing for the Lojo Fishing fam. 2,000 likes and I will go out on this thing again in a, in a bigger body of water this time. I won't be able to come to this tiny little pond and be safe. I'll have to go somewhere like maybe, maybe like a big lake or something like that. I don't know. But 2,000 likes, I'll definitely use this thing again. And make sure you get in that comment section and so we can get a name for this thing because we really need a name. <laughs> Guys, that was so much fun. I cannot believe I did not capsize. I mean, I felt like I was close a couple times, especially when I first got in it. But we actually survived a couple fish and hook sets, and I, I am just shocked. Like I said, guys, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and comment a name for the boat down below. I will pick a name and start calling it that. And if we get 2,000 likes, I'm just going to start using this thing more often. I mean, it was a whole lot of fun. Real easy to load and unload for my truck. Really easy to get in these ponds with. A little bit of a change of pace video today, guys, but... You know what? It's fun to do stuff like this. And that's what this channel is all about. We don't take ourselves too seriously on this channel. We don't take the fishing too seriously on this channel. We just like to have fun. As always, guys, if you're still watching and you're not subscribed, if you don't know what subscribing is, subscribing is just saying that you want to see more of my videos. It's 100% free. It's a button down below. Turn on the little bell notification. That way YouTube will email you directly when I drop a new video. That's all, that, that's all subscribing means. Guys, I'm getting out of here onto the next fishing adventure. Fist bump, I'm out.